Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Friday the 13th Part 3 Jason Voorhees action figure. Zombie Cat's working tonight, so that's why she's not in this video. In case you're wondering. And as the name says, this is a 112 figure, so it's a 6 inch figure. Uh, I've already reviewed the Michael Myers, which was really awesome. So, I'm glad they made a Jason too. So you can see the box has a nice forest design on it with the Friday 13th Part 3 logo. Jason Voorhees at the top with his racing stripes because he's a racer. There's a nice picture on the side there from the movie art, movie cover art, whatever. Over on the other side, same thing. Then on the back, you can see what all it comes with. And you can see it comes with a lot of stuff. And there's some nice pictures of the figure in various poses. Then you slide this off here like that. And there you can see the figure, all wrapped up in plastic. There's like the Mezco logo or whatever. They actually made a figure of him that looks pretty damn cool, but I don't think I'll be getting it. But still, it looks cool. Well, let's open this guy up. Now when you slide that out of there, you can see all the accessories there, but also some of the other accessories you can see on the back, like along here and over there, and the little baggie to put the accessories in. Okay, so I just spent a long time in between the last shot and this shot taking bromance pictures between Jason and Michael Myers. You'll probably see most of them at the, the end of the video. And that's, I think that's part of the problem with the zombie cat not being here is I'm just screwed around. It's like I'm playing some open world game and I'm just screwed around not getting on with the, with the mission I need to do. And as you can see, he comes with a lot of accessories, which is awesome. The one thing I'm not showing right here is the bag. I got this bag also with the Harley Quinn Mezco and also the Michael Myers, so I'm guessing they come with all of them. And I really like it. It's a real sturdy feeling Ziploc bag, sturdier than just the, the average ones you would buy in the store. But he comes with this really cool part three base where he's stabbing through the shower curtain. That looks awesome. And then he comes with an alternate head and mask and the mask is removable on both heads this is the bloody version the head and the mask are bloody and they're and that's the clean versions up there he comes with four alternate hands these three are all for the right hand it's got a relaxed trigger hand for the harpoon gun and then a holding hand for most of the other weapons the only other alternate hand he has for the left hand is a holding hand the hands he has on are sort of like a hand to be good for posing when he's going to hit somebody with the weapon. And then pretty much the same thing on this hand over here. And he comes with this little display arm thing which you can pop that peg out and stick it in there. Which I doubt I would use on a Jason figure but it's still cool to get it. And he comes with a bloody axe which is awesome. I like that all these weapons are bloody. Almost all of them are bloody. Comes with a machete of course. Come with a meat cleaver. Looks like a little hunting knife. A wrench, which the wrench isn't bloody, but whatever. Fire poker. The harpoon gun. And a pitchfork. So yeah, he comes with a lot of accessories. And that's pretty impressive. I really like that. And I like that it, like all the bladed weapons are bloody. That's really cool. I would prefer that they're bloody. So after messing with this figure a little bit, I don't really have too many gripes with it. Any gripe that I have is very minor because this figure is really awesome. But I'll just go over the, the minor gripes. I do kind of wish this Jason was just the tiniest bit taller. I mean, I always kind of thought of Jason being tall, at least in most of the movies. And Michael I consider to be tall too. I just always considered, you know, Jason to be taller. But here, the Michael figure is just slightly taller. I mean, it could just be his hair, really, on his mask that's sticking up. So they might actually be the same height. But still, I just, I just rather Jason just be a little taller than Michael. I don't know, I just think of Jason as this giant freak. <laughs> like, he's a like, deformed guy, and I just picture, always think of him as being really huge. But still, that's a minor thing. Because you do, they don't really go together. I'm probably going to display them together, but really, I mean... They're from different movies. It's not like they have to be posed together. 
The other minor gripe is just the, you can see the eyes too easily. I wish they were in shadow, but I mean, that just has to do with lighting. I mean, in the movies, you probably see his eyes too if there's light shining right on it like there is here. But if it's in the right lighting, it should hide it. But still, I'm just, it's just weird seeing the eyes so much during this review. And then I guess one other just tiny, tiny little gripe is the clothes I wish were a little dirtier. Because the I like the way they did the did Michael Myers coveralls because there's like this hint of wear to them, which I like. But there's it just seems like his Jason's clothes are a little more clean. There's not really much dirt there. I mean, maybe they look clean in the movies, I can't remember, but I just feel like there should be some dirt, maybe some slight rips or something. But I mean, I could add that myself. Maybe add a little bit of blood. But still, like I said, those are all pretty minor things. Other than that, I think it's a really, really awesome Jason figure. I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, these Mezcos are 6-inch scale. If you collect the NECA figures, NECAs are 7-inch scale, so these are shorter than the NECA figures. So, here's a comparison of a NECA Jason. He's, he's much shorter. So these these really don't scale together if you were wondering that. Now I really like the uh, the way they did the mask. It looks really good. The holes are punched in it real nice. The plastic's all punched out completely so it's not like you can see pieces of plastic stuck. You know what I mean. Like Sometimes when they punch holes out in toys it's not a very clean hole. But these all look pretty clean. And I like the little Chevrons, man. I'd rather just call these arrows, but people keep saying they're chevrons. Can I just call them arrows? I want to call them arrows. I'm calling them arrows. And he's got straps. He's got straps on there, little rivets. Got the little rivet right there. And the mask looks like it's a little worn, which I like. It's got a sort of yellowish to it. So, yeah, this is pretty well done. And here's this goofy looking face. And the skin on this looks really nice. I don't know how well it'll show on camera, but there's real fine detail similar to a six scale figure where you can see, I don't know, just like texture in a skin is highlighted by the paint and, and the wrinkles look nice. I mean, look at that butthole here. It just looks good. You could thank Fu Manchu from Fu Reviews for the butthole ear description. It's got some glossy eyes. You can see his screwed up teeth in there. I like the shading around his eyes too, that looks pretty good. Lots of little dents in his head. Yeah, I really like the texture of the skin, that's pretty nice. It goes down onto his neck too, I like how they did that also. They got a sort of his hunchback thing going on. That's a nice detail there too. It's pretty impressive. Oh, here's another slightly minor thing. It's just, this white shirt just stands out too much to me. It's like it just... It looks so bright and white and clean. It just really stands out. I, would, I think I'm going to probably dirty that up a little just so it doesn't stand out so much. But still, once again, it's a minor thing. This shirt here looks pretty good. I mean, for as small as it is, the seams look pretty nice. And, it, and it's really, really thin material, so it still has a bit of wrinkles to it. I mean, not as much as maybe like a hot toy or something would probably have more realistic wrinkles, but this is a six inch figure, so this is pretty good for that, I'd say. There's actually teeny tiny little buttons on there. That's pretty cool. We'll get down to his hands. Hands have a lot of nice detail. You can see the veins, the wrinkles in his fingers, the palm of his hand. There's even dirt on his hands. So that's really awesome. Looks like there's dirt on his forearm. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Same thing with the pants that I said about the shirt. Nice seams on them. The wrinkles are about, I'd say, as good as they can get for a six inch figure. And then his boots. They look like they've been worn. They're dinged up. Got a little bit of dirt on them. Some nice texture to it. And even the bottoms are sculpted. So they're pretty nice. So here's a look at the alternate head. This is the bloody head. It's got the big gash. You stick a weapon in there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. NECA did the same thing. So I'm glad they did it too. Yeah, I really like the blood detail there. There's a comparison just so you can see the clean and bloody versions. 
and take his mask off and there's his pretty face this kind of reminds me of this the guy in the bar from Total Recall just like this weird mutant guy but same amount of detail I'd say on this head except it's got the blood on it and the big gash I like the blood, the blood looks really nice this head seems to have an angrier expression at least from what I can tell his mouth is open a little more looks like his brows are furrowed just a tiny bit more but, yep, pretty impressed with that almost missed this detail but he actually has a belt on his pants which is highly detailed it looks like the loops of the pants that the belt goes through are just they're actually part of the belt, they're not part of the pants they're, I think the belt is just how's that on there? oh you can see there's little strings my little bokey thing so you get them little strings right there for how they get the belt on there so that works it's hard to even see those he's got his white shirt tucked in real nice and this doesn't seem to open which I which I'm fine with that I mean he doesn't really open his shirt but just in case you're wondering doesn't open so there he is holding the pitchfork but he has no issues with that he has very good articulation maybe I should have went over that first because he can very easily hold a two-handed weapon yeah I'm gonna do articulation now there you can see real nice articulation there ball joint at the feet and then also spin right there at the top of the boot Then at the knee, he has double jointed knees. So look at that. That is pretty impressive. Then I think he could spin at the top of the thigh. Yes, he can. Kick out about that far. Kick out to the side about, about that far. Go back about like that. Then at the torso, he can spin. Well, this is just right here there's a joint and then there's also a joint right here where you can do this you turn a little more tilt and all that fancy stuff then up at the shoulders now shoulder are a little bit limited by his shirt it seems like you can still do mostly what you want but you got to be careful I think I think maybe you could probably get his arm to do whatever you want you just gotta be careful and adjust the shirt as you do it see you can't just put his arm straight up without adjusting the shirt while you're doing it yeah they can also spin right there he's got double jointed elbows which is really nice because I don't think I don't think Michael has double jointed elbows I think it's just one joint you can see he just stops right there but Jason he has a double joint, so that's pretty cool. Then he's got the hinge at the wrist, but also it could spin, so you could adjust that to get just about whatever you'd want. Then up the head, it's on a ball joint, go up and down about that far, tilt, spin. So articulation is really good on him. I think you can do just about anything you'd want Jason to do. And his clothes aren't too limiting, just a little bit limiting up at the shoulders, but really you just gotta mess with the shirt. So there he is with the harpoon gun. So you can easily get him in some poses with that. That's pretty cool. Harpoon gun has some nice detail on it. Texture on the handle. Silver paint on the harpoon. Oh, if you hear any gross like sounds that sound like... My dog's laying right here next to me, chewing on some kind of, I don't know what the hell he's chewing on, piece of fuzz or something. Yeah, what are you chewing on? Huh? Huh? What are you chewing on? Okay. Here is the meat cleaver. This looks really nice, I like the way they painted the metal. Blood looks good. You have that hole punched out right there. Little rivets on the handle. Looks really nice. Here's the hunting knife. 
And the metal's painted nice and the blood's nice. I like that. Looks pretty good. And the wrench. I like how they did this. They, this is red, but you can actually see silver through it as if the paint's wearing off, which looks good. But yeah, I like the colors on that. And the sculpt. But there he is holding the wrench. There he is holding the axe. Once again, they got nice silver paint on it. They actually have like, it looks like lines, like scratches going back, like as if it's been used to chop things. That's pr pretty detailed. Next, we'll see wood grain going down the handle. There's a two handed pose of him about to swing the axe. And here is the fire poker. It's got the nice metal paint again and blood splatter on it. See the little handle there. And there he is holding it. So there's Jason next to the Mezco 112 Collective Michael Myers. And I think it's cool getting them, getting both of them. Like I mentioned earlier, I do wish Jason was a little bit taller than him. But I mean, different actors played both of them, so their heights have varied. I just usually think of Jason as being taller. But, uh, but like I said, I uh, got a whole bunch of bromance pictures, <laughs> as I was calling them. When I first opened this, Jason playing with them so you can see them now. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty fun to mess around with. The articulation's really good, and they look so realistic with the clothes. I just really like messing around with them. So they make for some awesome pictures and some really goofy pictures. Which, if you watch my videos enough, you know I like to do goofy shit with my figures. I do really like both of them. Michael also has the issue of, you can see his eyes a little too much. And once again, here is the NECA. And it's kind of hard to really compare these because this one costs like, what, 80, 70, 80 dollars. This one costs like 20 to 25. So, it's kind of hard to compare in like that and also it's a different style of figure I mean this one's all plastic and this one goes for the cloth figure kind of makes them different different heights so I like both of these it's not like I want to get one over the other I like both versions both types of figures they're that different to me it's not like I could say I like one better than the other I like them both yeah, let's look at these faces the faces are pretty good on both of them. I'd say this one's a little more realistic, but I mean, you're paying for that with the high price. One thing good about the all plastic version is they sculpt in the wrinkles, which this one doesn't. As you can see, it's missing a lot of wrinkles. It looks pretty flat right there. Like, especially like in the crotch area, there's like nowhere near as many wrinkles as there should be. But the figure's just too small to do that. Here's a couple Marvel Legends figures, just so you can see a size comparison. So I'd say he kind of fits in with them pretty well. So there I figured I'd just show this arm in action. I don't really see too many uses for this arm for Jason, but there he is flying through the sky like a like a crazy superhero or something. <laughs> just so I could show it off doing something. But it is decently articulated, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. So I really like this figure. I think he's pretty damn awesome. He comes with so many accessories, lots of good weapons, and there uh, and there's blood on most of them. Comes with multiple hands. The articulation is amazing. I like the alternate heads, the bloody one and not bloody one. And that goes for the mask too. And the little base is really awesome. I like the picture on there. The skin, like the paint on the skin, is really well done. I like it. And the same with the mask. The paint and sculpt in the mask are really good too. They just so spot on. So yeah, there's a lot to like about this figure. But I mean, now that I have a Jason and a Michael, it makes me want a Freddy. And they are making a Freddy, but I'm probably not going to get the first one because it's from the first movie. And it just bothers me that he doesn't have the stripes on his sleeves. That's the only movie where he's like that. Every other movie, he has stripes on his sleeves. Well, out of the main movies, at least. So, I'm hoping they'll make, like, a part two or part three Freddy or something like that. And then I'll get it. Because these are just pretty expensive and I don't want to get a figure that I... I don't want as much. 
they are making a Pennywise. That one's going to be tempting. It's from the new movie, and it looks pretty nice. I don't know if I'll be getting that one or not. But yeah, I love his figure. He's a little expensive, though, but if you don't mind that too much, I'd say he's pretty damn awesome. Especially if you're a huge Jason Van, I think he's he's worth it. He's worth the price, because he's so well done. Well, this is Mr. Evil Tease. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Hey, hey, you know what actually that is? That is it's not ch 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 ha ha ha. It's actually k k k ma 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 because you know, the guy who made the sound of it, he actually took it from kill 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 ma No, no, he he's right. He's right. It actually is. It actually is kick 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 ma 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 because Jason was making that sound himself because it's not actually him making the sound. Daddy! Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, damn it!